Let's have church. Usikae tu hivi kama stick. Just talk to somebody. Just talk to somebody. Look for a neighbor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome somebody to the house of the Lord. Welcome them. Wambia wa karibie. Hallelujah. Are they ready to praise Jesus? Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, join me and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Join me and praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Join me and praise the Lord. I can't hear you. Hallelujah. Join me and praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Oh, join me and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Join me and praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Join me and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Join me and praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, join me and praise the 
praise him in African way.
at a time like this when the world is corrupted. Many doctrines have come. But you and I have the opportunity to be in the house of the Lord.
and you feel like you've reached the end hauna matumaini kama nataka uinue mikono yako umwambie bwana naamini kwamba utafanya njia jesus is the way the truth and life as we put our trust in jesus we are assured of victory somebody shout amen Inua kinyo chapa, inua mikono yako, mwambi unamini buwana. Kwa mba utafanya nchia, namini. Namini buwana. Namini. Yesu. Yesu. Utafanya nchia. Utafanya. Somebody just worship the Lord. Out of our bellies shall flow rivers of living waters. Somebody worship the Lord. Open your mouth and worship the King of Kings. We worship you, Jehovah. We say you are worthy of our worship, King of Lords. Say! 
Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Flow, let it flow. Right here, right now. And as the river flows, it begins to bring every dead thing to life. It's a life-giving river. Let it flow. 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 Father, we thank you, we lift you. We bless you because you are God. This afternoon we gather to your presence. We ask you our rivers of living waters that they may flow from our very Lord. So that our lives may be made different because you are God. Thank you for this afternoon because you are worthy to be praised and glorified. We come at your presence, Lord. We pray that you'll touch our lives through your word and our life will be made different because a proceeding of your word it sheds light and brings clarity and understanding to the humble. We thank you because the word that is sent forth will bring healing and will deliver us out of all destruction that surrounds us. Because your word is covenantal, it is kept. And Lord, we observe and we speak your word for you to perform it. We thank you this afternoon because of your mercy that are new every day. Lord, release upon your people that you will be glorified and be exalted. Let this be accompanied by the signs and wonders and miracles. Because once your word is stand for, there is a confirmation of it in many ways. We worship you. And we praise you. And it is in Jesus' mighty name we praise him and we give him glory. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Yes, you are worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be praised. Turn around and put your hands together again for the worship team as they get back to their seats. And as they take your seats comfortably, you can have your seat. Some few announcements. Uh, we also want to welcome the online team. Uh, that is looking forward to receive this afternoon. The Lord is good all the time. And wherever you are watching us, you are part of the family. Feel blessed to share back your feedback because we are alive. Has the Lord been good to you? Yes. The Lord has been good to us. This week we have seen him and we shall continue to see the mercies of God that are new every day. Uh, we are just very short. We have the announcement. Uh, on 3rd of December, we are looking forward to have our uh, Pastor's Appreciation Day. And I know the Lord will enable you the whole year. The Lord has been with you. The ministration of the word has been released. The seed has been sown. And we have been experiencing its manifestation in different ways. Hallelujah. So we look forward for the 3rd of, of, of December. That is an appreciation day to our bishop and mom. And I believe this is extended even to the online uh, viewers and the team that wherever you are, you feel uh, much welcomed. This is our, our tradition. We always have to honor the man of God and the woman of God in the house because they have been really a blessing to our lives. And we cannot just take it like that. We have to do something at the end of the year. Praise be to Jesus. Also, I've been told the baby's dedication is coming up. And you gear up and see um, our sister Nancy there. She will guide you. You need to register because uh, this coming month, that is of November, we shall have the specific dates announced. That we are going to have the uh, the, the baby dedication and the Lord will richly 
uh, bless you. So purpose to take your name of your child uh, to Nancy or even the leader you will see around that the name will be taken and you will be considered as one of those who and we know what we normally do. So don't forget. Find something and let your child be dedicated and come with something. Don't just come with their bare hands. Just come with something. Praise be to Jesus. Uh, I've also been reminded on 22nd term, uh, this is coming the other Sunday, that is October the 22nd. Uh, excellent moms, the single moms, there shall be a meeting in that Sunday. I believe it is after the last service. So, papas, the excellent moms in the house, may we have the excellent moms wherever you are? Just wave your hands. Praise be to Jesus. So, there is a day for you that is on 22nd October. So we're looking forward that Sunday afternoon there will be a short meeting. You know what normally happens. We are also recruiting the ushers. I was told by the chief usher, Mr. Modama, that we are still uh, recruiting the new ushers. The work is a lot. So uh, we look forward. We, last Sunday we had the graduation and I was a uh, witness and I was part of them. Uh, witnessing that they have gone through their, uh, that, that, that period of, of uh, training. Actually, it is equipping them to serve uh, understanding. You know, for you to serve, there are basic things that you need to understand so that while you are serving, you serve with, uh, with what is required for you. Praise be to Jesus. I believe that we are all blessed. We are always tuning in in the 10 AM service from all the way from Tuesday uh, to, until Friday. So purpose to be a blessing. And also let the word of God settle in your heart. When we read Luke uh, chapter 8, I uh, just want to share something very shortly. When you read Luke chapter 8 and verse 13, when the word of God is sown, because many of us now we are expecting to receive the word of God, when the word of God is sown into our hearts, it should not find the, the, you know, the characteristics of that ground that cannot sustain it. The art of you should be prepared to receive and sustain the word. If I was to demonstrate, uh, according to what the scripture says, when the word is released, there are those who receive the word with an excitement. When you read Luke 18 and verse 13, they receive the word the word that was sown on the stones, there was some small earth. In fact, the, 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 it was not really more grounded to receive the word, but it was just for a moment. It sustained for a moment because there was no roots. So how do I pray that your heart will develop roots so that it can cover that word when it comes on your heart because it's about to be released. When the word lands in your heart, let your ground be fertile enough and add more earth to sustain and give some roots that are going to be strongly held and the word will produce for you. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. This coming week or so, that is on Wednesday, we are having a midweek service. Don't forget, we, there is a flyer that you will see. There is a midweek service and uh, we have to be honored. Already there is a man of God that is going to minister to us. Uh, and uh, we shall be blessed. So purpose to be here, uh, purpose to come, and the Lord will do you good. Amen? Finally, uh, we have the Chilo of Fellowship that is going to do the cleaning of the sanctuary this coming Sunday and Saturday. So may the Lord bless you, increase you, as we purpose now to get to here. We are also honored to bless the Lord for uh, Pastor Winnie, Let's put our hands together for Pastor Winnie. She's a blessing to us. She has really blessed our life. So purpose to contain the word of God that has been released to you and let it grow in your heart so that the Lord may do you good. Amen. Amen. Now we need uh, Sunday school children to be come forth. Uh, we normally have to release them before we bring the man of God. All the teachers, wherever you are, please, let's do it very quickly. Let them come forward so that we may release them to their stations to be taught. Amen.
Let them do fast. Let them come fast. One of the things I noticed on that time we were in the <laughs> we were in the family fans day. I know some of you came on the family fans day. Uh, and I noticed that these, these teachers they really do great work. If you are given these children, you can only know that when they do it, it is not an easy job. <laughs> Bringing them up, I saw what they were doing there, and that's why I knew <laughs> the kind of stuff that they bring to them. You know, you must be, you must bring yourself to a level of a child for you to teach the child. Do you know that? That is grace. So you humble yourself until that you can teach them so that they can listen to you. So let's all stretch our hands toward these children so that we may bless them as we release them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. We honor you for these fruits that you are given to us. We pray the wisdom of God shall come upon the teachers and as they teach them, Lord, they shall walk the teachings that they are being brought to them. I declare the Lord, he shall be blessed in the going out and they shall be blessed when they are coming out. The word of God shall grow strongly in their heart. It shall settle and it shall grow with them as they take every stage of growth. Father, you shall give revelation, shall give more wisdom to them. They shall have an understanding that Lord Jesus Christ, you are being revealed to their life as they grow up. Because when they are growing up with your word, they shall never divert or change direction because that word becomes their life and it becomes their lifestyle. In the name of the Father, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we say thank you to you, we bless you, and we release you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for them as they go to their respective stations for them to be taught. Uh, praise be to the Lord. Uh -huh. The Lord is good all the time, and it remains good all the time. Praise be to the Lord. Now we are about to receive the word. And I may ask all of us to be an understanding ovation as we call the man of God to minister. Let's put our hands together for Bishop as he comes to the house. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you. We, we glorify your name in this service. For us who are here and for those that are joining us live, we thank you for sending us the Holy Spirit. Our teacher, our guide into all of God's truth, our helper and our comforter. We do submit to the Holy Spirit and I pray that the spirit of glory and of Christ would rest upon every person here today. Even those that are following live and that this Holy Ghost will manifest himself in the lives of the hearers of God's word by miracle signs and wonders confirming the words of God. I pray that the sick in our midst shall be healed. That pain shall leave the body. That diseases shall leave. I declare that every confusion shall leave. Bondages shall be broken. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Therefore let the presence of Jesus be made manifest in this place. I pray that I will decrease and Jesus will increase in this service today to the glory, honor, and praise of his holy name. We pray and everybody said amen. Please everybody appreciate Jesus. Amen. All right, you may be seated. 
And I want us to go straight to the teaching of God's word. We are doing a series. And we are learning on hearing the voice of God. I believe that as we receive the teaching of God's word, some questions will be answered. Now, this is very important. Hearing God's voice is a must. You must learn how to hear the voice of God for yourself. Rather than depend on people to hear God for you. Because people will take advantage of you to manipulate you uh, lie to you take advantage but you can hear God's voice and you are hearing God's voice because the voice of God is available to all of us I used to think only pastors should hear the voice of God. And pastors should hear the voice of God. I used to think only the bishops should hear the voice of God. Then the rest of us we just wait for them to come and tell us what God is saying. Over time, I discovered that everybody is hearing the voice of God. Even you that is in this service, you are hearing God's voice. But some people may say, I've never heard the voice of God. The problem is not whether you are hearing God's voice. But the problem could be one of those two things I want to tell you. Number one, there are many people who cannot distinguish the voice of God. So God is speaking to them but they still cannot tell that that's the voice of God. So they hear the voice of God but they can't tell that this is God's voice. Do we have that in the Bible? The example of Samuel in 1 Samuel chapter 3 Samuel had the voice of God three times but he was running to Eli because he didn't had not learned to distinguish that this is God's voice. He thought it was Eli. And he went and say, Eli, he say, you called me. Eli say, I didn't call you. You go back and lay down. The second time. Samuel. Samuel. He stood up. He He's hearing the voice, but he cannot tell that this is God's voice. And so it's not that you don't hear God. The question is, can you tell and discern that this is the voice of God? So Eli had to teach Samuel about hearing the voice of God. And that's what we are learning today. Eli said to him, when you hear the voice, this is how you respond to that voice. And so, when God spoke 
the fourth time he said speak your servant is listening because now he was able to tell this is the voice of God I cannot even start telling you how important whatever you are hearing is Turn to your neighbor you like most and tell them, I know you like dosing. This is one Sunday, you should not doze. Tell them, I know you like dosing, but this time, talk to them, tell you like yourself. Tell them, do yourself a favor. Even if you want to listen to pastor standing, stand up. But tell them don't even try to dose. To dose. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your life depends on it. You know, church people, let me tell you. There are some things you can take lightly. Some things you can't take lightly. Like hearing God's voice. And knowing how to tell this is God's voice. You can't play with that. All these people you hear, they are being lied to, manipulated, taken advantage. Some of you, because you can't tell God's voice for yourself. And so you believe every voice. You follow every voice. You obey every voice. Then when things go bad, you say that pastor, that preacher, when you hear God for yourself, you shall be able to tell this is a voice of the stranger and you will not follow it. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why you must learn to hear God's voice. Can I tell you something? You are seated here today because I heard the voice of God and I could tell this is God. That's why you're here. That's why your life has been blessed by this ministry. That's why many people have been transformed because somebody had the voice of God. Do you see how, do you see how important what I'm talking about is? Somebody had the voice of God you are not there nobody else was there but because I could tell this is God and I obeyed that voice now you are a beneficiary of that obedience so don't think this is a joke when you hear a pastor saying we are learning God's voice you know this is not a joke. Your life depends on it. And the life of your children. And there are many people whose lives will be helped because you've had God. You have heard the voice of God. Lift up your hand and declare with me, I hear the voice of God. Come on, say it with confidence. Say, say, I hear the voice of God. I am a sheep of his pasture. I hear God. I hear God accurately. I hear God all the time. Touch your ear and say, I have hearing ears. I say, touch your ear, not your nose. I have hearing ears. I hear God all the time concerning my life, concerning my marriage, concerning my children, in my business. I hear God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Declare with me, I know his voice. I know when God speaks. I can differentiate the voice of the shepherd from the voice of the stranger. Turn to somebody say, I don't follow strange voices. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Because I hear God. In 19, uh, uh, many years ago, <laughs> we had just finished a service in Gidurai. Just finished a service. And we were standing outside the, the Mabati church in Gidurai. And then, Helena came to say hello to me outside the church. In those days, Ken Kaloki had not yet manifested. Amen. So Helena came, she came to greet me, said, Pastor, how are you? And then I had God. The Lord said to me, tell her, this is many years ago. God said, tell her, one day she will sing one song. And that song shall be sung by everybody in this nation. I told her that in Gedurai. I said, God is telling me to tell you that one day you will sing a song and everybody will sing that song. She said, Pasi, is it true? I said, I've just heard his voice. When you know God's voice, it makes a difference. Many years later, she sang Mambo Ya Badilika. That, who in Kenya doesn't know? Naona Mambo Ya Kibadilika. Who doesn't know? That song was sung everywhere. By everybody. Politicians were singing that song. They were even having it as ringtone. Naona Mambo Ya Nabadilika. It's a song that has been heard everywhere. Because God spoke. That's why I told you you have to pay attention. Then years later, we were having a service here. And uh, I think those days you were in this church. Amen. In the middle of the service like this, I heard the voice of God. There was a gentleman in this, in this church. And the Lord spoke to me. There are people who are in that service. And he said to me, in the middle of the service, tell him that in the next election, he will be elected. This gentleman had tried politics. He was failing all the time. He was in this church. Amen. And he's been there for 18 years. There are people who can confirm. He even knows who I'm talking about. Because they were in the service. And the word of the Lord came into my heart. Tell him he shall be elected next time he's going to parliament. And then, before I finished, another voice came. And tell him he shall be a cabinet minister. Amen. And I said it. And he was in the service. Oh, after the service, the brother came outside there. He said, Pastor, okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Appreciate him. <laughs> the brother came outside there. He said, Pastor, are you sure what you just said? I said, it's knowing God's voice. In the next election, the gentleman was elected. He was elected by among the highest votes in Kenya. He went to parliament. When the results came out, he called me. He said, Pastor, I have won. I said, because God said it. 
Then one time, so this man has gone to parliament. He's now MP. Like in a prophecy, Lesema, Atakua Nani, Waziri. And you know, being cabinet is not easy. Then one time, I've been like four years later. At 7 p.m. News. I was seated watching news. I heard on the TV that Kibaki had appointed the man into cabinet. He became a minister. What else was if you tell your neighbor? So these are no jokes. Tell tell them think these are jokes. Tell them, is your muzaha, these are not jokes. One time the Lord spoke to me. And I, I, I came and I told this gentleman. The Lord spoke to me. I saw him wearing ile office, ile uniform, when I told you, what do you call them? Eh? officers in the force I saw him then I came I told him I've seen you in an office now my vile office ile uniform yawa dosi policy na ile mavitu wanaeka huko hey the gentleman said pastor how can that happen when I saw sifiwe somebody say I'm hearing God Ah, say it with conviction. Somebody say, I'm hearing God. Clearly, accurately, all the time, I hear God. Say it with me, I don't follow strange voices. I know the voice of the shepherd. Now today, didn't that come to pass? That uniform is in his house. Now, I want you to know that you are hearing God. The question is not, are you hearing God? No, that's not the question. The question is, do you, can you tell that this is the voice of God? That's the first thing. Number two, the other thing is, are you obeying the voice of God? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to show you one of the ways God could be speaking to you today. One of the ways God could be speaking to you. This is also those that are following live. Eh? That God is speaking to you. You know, many times... We expect to hear the audible voice of God. Sauti. To scare Sauti. Ikituambia. This and that. Una scare Sauti. You expect to hear the voice like Moses had the voice of God. Uh, you expect to hear the audible voice of God. But at times, God's voice does not come to us in an audible way. There are many times God will speak to us or speak to people through dreams. Now I want you to see in Numbers chapter 12, and we, we are not projecting. Numbers chapter 12, uh, go with me. I've already prayed for you and I'm praying for you even now. You have understanding. Say amen. Somebody say I have understanding. I, I know I, I can follow what the teacher is teaching. Somebody say I can follow. I am not distracted. I am not confused. I have an understanding. So let's turn our Bibles to the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 12 and verse 6. And I want to show you that you could be saying I don't hear the voice of God just because you have never had an audible voice but God could be speaking to you through another avenue. Now, all of us will, may never hear an audible voice. Sisi wote hatuta sikia sauti. Bwana kikongelesha na sauti kubwa. You may not hear the, the audible voice of God. 
but you are going to hear God's voice God speaks in various ways and one of the ways that God speaks and could be speaking to you today is through dreams and I'm gonna show you how you could be having a dream right now or repeatedly God speaks to you reveals to you things through the dream but because you are waiting for a voice you have concluded and I'm mixing Swahili and English because then you begin to say Mimi, and uh, uh, when you are saying that you have been receiving or you are receiving repeated dreams now numbers chapter 12 and verse 6 numbers chapter 12 and verse 6 this is what the bible says are we there numbers chapter 12 and verse 6 Mimi ni tawangojia mbaka tuenda nishane pamoja. Na mukiongea ndia tunasonga. Are we there numbers chapter 12 and verse 6? Can we all read together loudly? Praise the Lord. One, two, go. It says what? And he said, If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a what? In a vision. And I will, I will do what? Some of you are not speaking. I will do what? I will speak to him where? In a dream. So God speaks in dreams. You may not hear the audible voice of God like Moses had. Moses, Moses, hear, I am the Lord your God. You may not hear the audible voice of God, but you could be having dreams, daughter, that are communicating a message from God to you, but because you always think that the voice of God must come to you audibly, you are ignoring God's voice that is coming to you in a dream. Now let me see here. How many people in this service can say, Pastor, I have dreamt things and they happened. Let me see your hand. How many people can say, there are times I have had a dream and exactly what I dreamt came to pass. One more time, let me see your hand. Oh, these are very many people. So, you are confirming that God's voice comes or can come in a dream. These are not my words. The Bible says that if there be a prophet among you, he say, I the Lord will speak in the dream. And I want to show you, using the example of Joseph in the New Testament, how God, in different ways, communicated to him in dreams. And I pray for you right now, in Jesus' precious name. I pray that the spirit of glory and of Christ is now resting upon you. I pray especially for those that God has been given prophetic dreams and you don't know what to do. You don't know how to respond. You don't know how to act. But the dreams keep coming and after some time, whatever you saw comes to pass. I want you to know that the voice of God is going to become clearer and clearer in your life. That that is an authentic voice of God. That is an authentic channel that God is bringing his voice to you. And so you cannot say, I am not hearing God. You are hearing God. Hallelujah. But the voice is coming through the dream. And that's God's voice. He speaks through the dream. Now, I've had people, I mean, God is speaking to them. Then they say, you know, I, I have, I've had this dream. Nimekwana kindoto kingini atasielewi. Kindoto. Lakini nimeki igno. And then three months later, whatever they ignored in the kindoto <clears throat> manifest. Hallelujah. I said manifest. 
So God can speak and he speaks through dreams. Now, I will show you. Are you ready? Are you ready to learn something? I want to show you four different times that God spoke to Joseph. Not the Joseph in the Old Testament. In the New Testament. Through dreams. And whatever he told him was coming to pass. So you can receive revelation through the dream. The example I gave him was a dream. I saw in the dream that he had been promoted to a certain rank and I shared with him. Now, many years later, that dream is now real. Whatever came in that dream has become a reality. Now, let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 1 and verse 20. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 20. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 20. With there have you written that down matthew chapter 1 and verse 20 once again one two three let's read it says but while he spoke on these things talking about joseph while he thought on these things now joseph has discovered that mary whom they are engaged is expectant then he decides because this is not my baby and i don't know how this lady has gotten pregnant I am going to leave her. Nitamwacha. So that is what he's thinking. And then the Bible says, I want us to read this out together loudly. While he thought on these things, let's go. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the dream. The angel of the Lord appeared to him how? In the dream. And what was the message? He said to Joseph, Do not be afraid to take Mary your wife for that which is conceived of her is of the holy spirit and so here we see joseph in a place of decision somebody say decision now i want you to see uh put yourself in his shoes you are engaged to this lady and then you discover that she is pregnant what are you going to do i mean you don't know whether you you say i can't i can't continue uh, this is not my pregnancy and so I am going to leave this lady and so he's thinking at that particular time what to do then God begins to speak to him in that place of confusion he doesn't know the direction or the decision to take things are not clear the Bible says and the angel of the Lord spoke to him in a dream and told him what to do he said don't be afraid to take mary as your wife this did not happen in a revival service this did not happen through the mouth of the prophet this happened through the dream and so through the dream the first place we see is that joseph is held by god through the dream to be able to make a decision he gets to know the mind of God. He gets to know the will of God. He gets to know the direction of God. He gets to know the purpose of God. I declare in this service to you and to those that are watching because this is a life service and there is a living word that is coming. That today if you are in this service and you are in a place of decision, you don't know whether to do this or to do this. You don't know whether to go or to come back. I pray in jesus mighty name that tonight when you go to sleep that god will reveal his will to you even through the dream i pray that the anointing because the pastor is teaching about the voice of god coming to you in the dream i declare that somebody will leave this service today and tonight when you sleep it shall be clear like joseph this is a way this is what you are going to do in jesus precious name and so joseph is held
by God to make a decision. And I'm telling you, I am having the microphone, but I know there are people here, if they take this microphone and give you experiences, how God has directed them through the dream, you'll be shocked. And so receive that in Jesus' name. I declare that you shall know what to do. You shall know where to go. The voice of God is coming to you. It shall be clear. You shall see things clearly. Joseph was told in the dream, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Don't be afraid of what people are going to think, of what people are going to say. This is your wife. I speak clarity into the life of everybody that is waiting for the voice of God. I speak clarity. You shall know clearly. This is what I need to do. In the midst of the confusion, the voice of God will come so clearly. This is a way. Walk in it. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to this other example. So that is example number one. Example number two is in chapter two and verse 13. So Joseph took Mary because God spoke to him in the dream. So he took Mary. Now they are married. What else was he feeling? Then Jesus is born. Herod, when he heard that Jesus has been born, he wanted to kill Jesus. But because the wise men that were supposed to go back to Herod and give him the exact location where Jesus was. They didn't go back. They were warned by God, don't go back there. That man has a wicked intention. So Herod became angry. Then he estimated every male child, two years and down, must be killed. So that in the midst of that killing, Awe Yesu. So Joseph, when he heard the news that Herod wants to kill every child two years and below, you know what happened? In verse 13, the Bible says that the Lord appeared unto Joseph in a dream. Somebody say in a dream. And he said, Arise, take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Stay there until I bring you a word. Because Herod will seek the young child to do what? To destroy him. Now, when there was danger, somebody say danger. How was Joseph warned in the dream? Of the danger that was ahead, the word of God came to Joseph in the dream. Lift up your hand. I pray for you today. I told you you cannot afford to be dull. Maybe this will come in week. There is danger ahead of you. Some of you not even this week. Maybe tonight there is danger ahead of you. Tomorrow there could be danger against your child. Wednesday there could be danger against your wife. We are not playing a game. This is spiritual, this is spiritual business. And we are doing a spiritual transaction. With your hand lifted up. We declare Father in the name of Jesus. Declare Father in the name of Jesus. Whatever danger could be ahead. Whatever harm, whatever destruction has been planned against my life or against my children, I pray that I will hear your voice giving me direction how to deliver my life, how to deliver my family, how to deliver my children. In the name of Jesus, amen. And I declare and decree in Jesus' name, that every trap of the enemy, you shall escape by the word of the Lord. I said you shall escape in Jesus' precious name. It shall become evident before you. I pray that tonight when you sleep, you shall see the schemes of men. You shall see the traps of people. I pray that in the name of Jesus, when you close your physical eyes, your spiritual eyes will open. You shall see whatever is being planned behind your back. You shall see the heart of Herod. And I declare today in Jesus' name that your baby shall not die. Your business shall not die. Your marriage shall not die. Your vision shall not die. It shall be revealed to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Somebody say hallelujah. 
Somebody say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God speaks in the dreams. He does. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. One time I had a dream. And this dream disturbed me. Because it was concerning this church. And I had a dream. And I saw in the dream. A lady that I know. That is not a member of this church. But I saw the lady. And she had risen up her voice. Against this house. And I saw it clearly. She was saying this church must close. That's what she was saying. In the dream. And I woke up. And it disturbed me. Because I knew that is the agenda of this person. And I prayed. Because God will speak. Then I came. It was during the weekday. And I found that lady. Having created such an argument. In this place. And I remember the dream. But I had prayed and cancelled. I'm telling you today, your baby shall not die. I said, your baby shall not die. Do you know what happened? Ile kisirani, uyo mama alikuwa metopangia. Yo kisirani yote. Kwa sababu, I prayed. Because God will speak. Nika kusanya yo kisarene yote. Nika kusanya. Nika ifanya back to sender. Within one month, that lady disappeared from here. I have never known where she went until today. Totally disappeared. What else was if you Kile Herode amepanga. Wanaesu wa sifiwe. Tuko pamoja hapa. Nasema kile Herode amepanga. Katika biashara yako, nyumbani kwako, mahali umeolewa. Kile Herode amepanga. Nina kuombea katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Leo ukifunga haya macho, yali akilo ya funguke. God is going to show you things. I declare today, the people here that have been dull-minded, you are not seeing even the danger around you. I pray that God will open your eyes. Kwanzia Sam tatu ukilala, baka sa kuminamoja, utakuwa unona video. Unawaona wakiongea. Unawaona wakipanga. Unawaona wakiwasiliana. We umekiti unawaona video. Somebody say yes! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. I mean Herod knew this boy, I will kill him. He knew that. Because he knew there is no way they will know whatever I am planning. But God spoke. That is why you shall not die in that accident. Can I tell you something? When God shows you something in the dream, it is for, for you to pray against it, to stop it, to say this thing is not going to happen. And I pray that today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know when Jesus Christ was taken out of Egypt, Herod went ahead and killed so many babies. Read your Bible. When Joseph took Jesus and, and Mary out to Egypt, so many babies were slaughtered. But, somebody say, but, do you know why Jesus was not slaughtered? Because Joseph had the voice of God. I declare today in Jesus' mighty name that because you are a father that he is a voice of God. Because you are a mother that he is a voice of God. When other children are being slaughtered, your children shall live. When other people's lives get into confusion, your life shall be in order. Because you hear the voice of God. 
stand with somebody and tell them it's too late for the devil. <laughs> Ah, come on, I need somebody to talk to. Somebody here, tell somebody, it is too late for that devil. I already heard the voice of God. Turn somebody and say, it's too late for that devil. I already heard the voice of God. It is too late for the witch doctors. I already heard the voice of God. I just gave you a testimony. This is a real thing. I know the woman that I'm talking about. She had decided. I saw in the dream. She said that church must close. But today we are still here standing. Because you cannot kill whatever God has preserved. We have heard the voice of God. Kamasante Kadabuzam. You have heard the voice of God. And it shall be well with you. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. This thing is upon me. Let me release it now. Today in Jesus' name. When you close these eyes, other eyes will open. I said today in the name of Jesus. When you close these eyes, other eyes will open. And you shall hear the voice of God. In the dream, you shall hear the voice of God. Some of you shall see that person in the office that you call your best friend. You shall see a video of that woman, that man that has been coming close to you. And you shall hear the voice of God in the name of Jesus Christ. That whatever they want to kill shall not die in the name of Jesus. I say whatever Herod wants to kill shall not die because somebody here is hearing the voice of God. There is an anointing coming upon you. I said there is an anointing coming upon you. Watu watakuwa wanapanga yao mchana. Wewe usiku unaonyesha kila kitu ilikuwa imepangwa. Wanapanga mchana. Usiku ukifunga macho na mnaiha unaona yote. Yote. <laughs> and God reveals these things. I am telling you. I know. He does. One time there was a brother we were working so closely with. I, mean, so I didn't know he was jealous of me. I didn't know. We were working closely. Ah, Kumbe, the man was just full of jealousy. Then one time I had a dream. Katika ndoto nasikia kitu ina niuma mgongo na umwa mgongo hai hai afanya hivi nasikia uchungu in the dream. Then I turned and I saw the brother. And in the hand he looked at me and he said, Hey, Pastor. I shared with her, she knows. There are many things I will never hear me standing here to say, but I tell, I share with her. I see them. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I cancel that thing. There are some people God will show you in the dream. Eh? Now, kiamu kanamna hi. Unasema, Father, in the name of Jesus, this relationship, I cancel it. I break it. Because God has already shown you. Now, Kicheza na yon daughter. What, listen, what would have happened to Jesus if Joseph played with that dream? He would have been killed. And your man and in a kwambia hapa leo, mchana mchana. Chochote ambacho kinausisho na wewe. Ambacho ni target ya olimwengu wa giza. Kama ni mtoto wako. Kama ni biashara yako, kama ni mke wako, kama ni mume wako, anything that is associated with you, that has become a target from the kingdom of darkness. Today, nime kuombe, okifunga hayo macho, yale mingine ya funguke. You will hear the voice of God. 
you shall hear the voice of God. So the first time God spoke to Joseph was for him to make a decision. Afanya nini? Uamuzi. Like you to Niraisi. Turn to your neighbor and say, I hear God. Waja ni wambia ikitu ni raisi na mnagani. Hii kitu ni rai. If you want to know people, wacha kuuliza uliza watu. That's how gossip starts. Oh, father tell me washu. Tell me Mary. Can I tell you the easiest way? Woki ena nyumbani leo. Piga mago. Ambia mungu. Uyu mtu nionyeshe ye ni nani. Utaonyeshu. Hakuna mtu waneza jie. Hakuna mtu waneza hai. Enda leo useme mungu. Nionyeshe huyu. Ni nani. Utaona. Atatokea. Somebody say. With true colors. Yes. Ata ofisini. Just tell God, show me who are these people I'm working with. He will show you. So before we go to point number three, Hapa Leo, nobody's baby shall be killed. Come on, put your hands to Jesus. I say, no baby shall be killed. No business shall be killed. Hallelujah. No relationship that is ordained by God shall be killed. So Joseph, he took the children, he took his family. The Bible says he went to Egypt. By the time Herod realized that Jesus has escaped, he was very angry. Listen. In verse 19, Herod has died. We are coming to point number three. Herod has died. And the Bible says that the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph again in the dream. This is the third time. He said like this, Akamwambia, you take the young child, listen to this, I like this. You take the young child and go into the land of Israel for they are dead. Somebody said they are dead. Those who are looking to destroy the young child's life. Joseph was told, wale ambao, walikuwa wame target. Maisha ya yuyu mtoto wote wamekufa <laughs> Tell your neighbor wachana na Mungu wangu utakufa Mwambie don't play with my God Mwambie don't play don't play with my God you are going to die <laughs> Hallelujah Haliambia a wote Kuna mambo mawili nataka kuelezea mambo mawili Aliambia those people that were trying to take the life of the child are dead. That's the first thing he was told. They are dead. Yani hawako, they are irrelevant. Tunatoa kitu inaitua tahadari. Eh? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Somebody said tunatoa tahadari. Unajua tahadari ni nini? Warning. Somebody say, I release a warning in the spirit. You know, i kuna watu ukiwa chukulia raisi wanakuaribia maisha. There are people we are not supposed to entertain. And, the, and, and Joseph was told in a dream they are dead, all of them. 
Wacha ni kuambie the first thing. Kuanzia leo. You are a dangerous individual. Yoyote anakuandama. Wewe ndio ninaambia. Yoyote anakuandama. Sasa ameingia line mbaya. I say whatever anybody ambaye anakuandama. Saa hii Where are you people? Am I talking to myself? Anybody that is scheming to destroy your life. Tanti oneba mambia, ame ingia la inimbaya. Shekantakada boso shadamam. Tando somebody has told them, whoever is after my life. Somebody say, whoever is after my children. Whoever is after my family. Ame ingia la inimbaya. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Because one by one, I said one by one, they shall fall. I said one by one, they shall scatter. I said one by one, they shall die. I said one by one, yeah. whoever is after your child, eh? Kanta kabo so shakadaba. Second Takabo Soshadaba. Let me tell you why those people had to die. Can I tell you why they had to die? I said, Are you ready for me today? Can I tell you why they had to die? Because one thing you need to be careful about. I want to sound a warning to somebody here today. Can you be careful? Because look at your neighbor and tell them all children are not the same. Ah, say come yandaba. I feel this thing. Turn to somebody and say, all children are not the same. Ah, turn to somebody and tell them, all cars are not the same. Tell them, all husbands are not the same. All wives are not the same. <laughs> yeah. Tell somebody, all businesses are not the same. Somebody say, yes. There are some children you cannot kill. If you try to kill them, you shall die. Because all children are not the same. Shake and takabo salaba. I said all children are not the same. What Herod did not understand is that Jesus Christ was not just like any other child. Jesus Christ is a child of the promise. What Herod did not understand is that this boy had been born because of a prophecy. Some of you are playing with the business. Iyo biashara unataka kuwa. Uyo ndugu alianzisha by the word of the Lord. That's why I'm telling you, all cars are not the same. Some people, we are driving a prophecy fulfilled. If you touch that car, you shall die. Some husbands and somebody say all husbands are not the same <laughs> I know you got yours in the bar all husbands are not the same but there is a sister here that got her husband after going to the mountain she received a husband in prayer that's why you touch that man you die because all husbands are not the same Shekabo Sekabayanda. All husbands are not the same. That's why the word of the Lord came. He said, All those people that try to touch that boy are dead. Because all churches are not the same. Ah. I said all churches are not the same. All pastors are not the same. Yeah. There are some people you touch, you die. Yeah. 
na atasiogopi nasema atasiogopi whatever is trying to kill what faith brought into your life whatever is trying to kill what prayer brought into your life whatever is trying to kill what favor brought into your life shall die somebody say yes where was Herod I said where was Herod when the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and said Mary you are going to have a child not because of a man but because of favor he said God has favored you you are highly favored therefore whatever you shall conceive in your womb is of the Holy Ghost that's why turn to your neighbor and tell them there are some children you touch you die because where are we Uyom toto ametoka wapi. Not every girl with something has slept around to get it. I have some godly ladies, godly daughters in this house. That through the faith that we teach them, they're experiencing God. You touch their prosperity, you die. Don't be afraid. Whatever you have from God shall be safe. I'll say it again because you didn't hear what I said. Whatever you have from God shall be safe. It was told, Pastor Winnie. All those that wanted to kill that boy, yes. they are dead. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa kabla sijaenda point number 4 na nimalizie. Nimeku nimekuonyesha leo. All businesses are not the same. Yo uchawi yako umefanyanga ma business zingine zinafunga kuna business utaleta hiyo uchinga na hiyo siku ndio watu watajua kisha kikwenyu ni wapi Siku hiyo kitaeleweka kwenyu ni wapi Bwana Yesu asifiwe All cars are not the same. All people are not the same. One answer as if you will. Hello. Jama Walishika Wayambaya. Ikawaramba. <laughs> Kiliwaramba. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, Enda Mosmos, my friend. Kitakuramba. <laughs> eh? well, imagine, Yesu, amezaliwa kupitia unabi. Ahadi ya buwana. I'm telling you, let me, let me tell you. Isaiah prophesied, all these men, they prophesied. And then Herod can just come and kill what was prophesied. It's not possible. Hello? It's not possible. I was given Kilimani Church. 
a testimony of a dream my mother had when I was 13 years old. 13 years old. I was a small boy. Then my mother had a dream. She said in the dream, I was walking in a very big field. Big field. And she was walking behind me. And I had seeds in my hand. I was 13 years old. I was not even born again. And I was walking. She said, as I went, I was throwing seeds in those, in those holes. And she would cover the seeds the way they do planting. I said, but this is the dream. She said, kila maali ulikuwa ukitupa mbego. Ta ilikuwa inawaka. Nikitupa ta mwangaza. Nikiweka mbego ta. She said, until the entire field was filled with light. She didn't understand. She didn't understand. Then years later, after I got born again, and I started church. The dream came. Now that we've been starting branches, the other day she told me, ah, she said, my son, this is what I saw when you were 13 years old. She said, you will start many churches. And everywhere that church will start shall be light. Tell me now, how can you walk here today with some, some, some leg of a, of, a, of a lizard on your waist <laughs> and kill this? You can't. Tell your neighbor you're safe. Tell your neighbor you're safe. <laughs> Lift up your hands and say, Father, in Jesus' name, Whatever is up after my life, whatever is after my destruction, shall die. In Jesus' precious name. Come on, lift up your voice and declare they are dying. They are dying. The schemes are dying. The plans are dying. Come on, pray. Don't look around, pray. Declare they are dying. Those schemes are dying. The plans are dying. The strategies are dying. It cannot happen. In the name of Jesus. I am living in the prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. It cannot. It shall die. Come on pray. Pray. Labozo shaka mayante de bozo. Bokonta na mazante de bosa. La 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 ba santa da bosa Ze canta da 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 bosa ke de bosa Be la ba santa ke da bosa shaka bayanda Bilama Sante Dabozo Shaka Daboza. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The Holy Ghost is here. The Spirit of glory and of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Son of the living God. 
to the glory of God the Father to the honor of God the Father and to the praise of his holy name Jesus precious name somebody say hallelujah now I want to give you the last point then I then I sense in my heart that so much is happening here in this service so much is happening there are people the way you came is not the way you're going you may look the same but something is shifting in the spirit and there are people you came in as a target but by the time you leave can I tell you something the devil can no longer locate you kuna mali umepotelea kuna vile umepotea kwa hiyo network ya mapepo they saw you coming but they don't know what has happened all the network of the devil and the kingdom of darkness has been disrupted in Jesus name hallelujah that is number three God is speaking eh? he said all those that were looking for that child they are dying how leo If you are a wife, look at somebody and tell them all wives are not the same. <laughs> yes. All wives who are not harvested in a club. Are you getting what I'm saying? All wives who are not harvested in a nightclub. Kuna wise walipatikana shekabo sela bayan tadadabu kwa kwa kesha waka appear pana chesa na uyo wife unaweza fungika single <laughs> tend you never say all husbands are not the same <laughs> Yes. This church is not like another church. Uh -uh. Listen to this number four. It's going to bless you. And then I'm going to pray with you. Lakini hiyo ni meyona. Kuna wale muli hapa. The devil had a certain agenda. Iyo kitu imepotea. Ata ajui vile umepotea. Lazima mkutano ingine ya kuzimu itishwe. Wapange tena. Na hata wakipanga tena. Nasema hata wakipanga tena. It's too late. Ulingia tu, shetani ya kasema, tunakungojia ukitoka. Sayu ukitoka. They can't see you. They say, what happened when she entered there? We don't know. Demons will say, it was too hot. We could not go there. Listen to number four. This is the fourth time God spoke to Joseph in that dream. Please touch my mic. The most precious thing a preacher has is his voice. It says in verse 21, and he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of 
Israel. But when he heard that Achilles, somebody say Achilles. And I see you, Achilles. Karibu. Other people don't know we have Achilles here. Achilles wa ukweli. <laughs> when they heard that Achilles did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, the Bible says he was what? Afraid to go in there, notwithstanding, number four, being warned of God. How? In a dream. We know that's the fourth time. Being warned by God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. Listen to verse 23. We close here. And, it came, and he came and dwelt in a city called Nazarene, that it might be fulfilled. Itimie. Itimie. Whatever was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. Listen. That it might be fulfilled. Itimie yale ambayo yalitabiriwa na manabi. Ataitua eh? Ataitua munazareti. Sasa Nina, nina kunja jamvi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Ambia jirani yako Hii maneno hayezi isha Mwambie mungu atakupigania vita Mpaka Kile ambacho kimetabiriwa juu ya maisha yako Kitimie Ambia jirani yako, sifi. Mwambia, I'm not dying. Until whatever was prophesied upon my life has been fulfilled. Listen to me. Ima neno yote that was happening with Joseph, all these things, God was showing up. God is delivering. God is fighting. God is protecting. You know why? Because there is no way Jesus Christ would have died before whatever was prophesied has come to pass. I announce today here at the Believers Rock of Faith Church that heaven shall fight your battles. That God shall defend you. That it doesn't matter what it takes. It doesn't matter what people think. It shall not happen in your life until whatever has been prophesied shall come to pass. There is a word of God over your life. That is what the devil is trying to fight. The devil is trying to fight the prophetic word that is upon your life. There is a name that you, you shall be called. You shall not die until that name has been named about you. Somebody say yes. Who am I talking to? Please put your volume down. I say, who am I talking to? Listen to me, just as a matter. Jesus will not have died until he was called a Nazarite. You are not going to die until you are called that which has been prophesied about your life. Somebody say, yes. There are some names people call you. There are some names your relatives call you. There are some names your, peer, your, your neighbors call you. That is why God will defend you. Somebody say yes. Because Jesus had a prophecy. He shall be called a Nazarite. Lazima. Hiyo jina. Ambayo niyako. Kiunabi lazima tutakuita hiyo jina. Eh? Ukifa saa hii, itasemekana hiyo prophecy ili fail. Ae, eh, itasemekana hiyo prophecy ilikuwa ya uongo. Itasemekana mungu hakuweza kutimiza kile alisema. 
You are not dying until your name changes from barren to mother. I say you are not dying until your name changes from you are a burden to you are a blessing. I said you are not dying. Heaven shall fight your battles. I said heaven shall fight your battles. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that God shall keep you strong. God shall keep you safe until the name that you have been called according to the word of God shall come to pass in your life. I prophesy today in Jesus name that you are the head, you are not the tail. I am talking to somebody here today. The name they call you is tail. The name they call you is below. But you are not dying until the tables change. You are not just the tail. You are the head. You are above and not the law. You are blessed and you are a blessing. Somebody say yes. That is why you cannot die. This believers work of faith church. See your ingine? Hey. Hey. One day I will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten millionaires in this church. I am not just talking. It is something the Lord put in my heart many years ago. He said, those people that have come there with nothing, no job, no car, no land, no business, that as you teach them the word of faith, as you teach them that all things are possible to them that believe, then the poverty shall live their life. I declare today in Jesus' name, your name prophetically in your family, they shall be saying, you are the millionaire in that family. You are the honorable in that family. You are the head, not the tail. You are the blessing in that family. It shall come to pass. Listen, Herod cannot stop it. Herod will not stop it. Your man a mungu kuna watu hapa. Mungu ata kupigania vita. Nina kutabiria katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ambia jina niyako akuna mali ninaenda. <laughs> Unamuambia ni kama unamuogopa. Tando somebody tell them akuna mali ninaenda. <laughs> Look at the other neighbor and tell them because. Come on, talk to somebody. Tell them because. The prophecy has not yet been fulfilled. Therefore, I am not going anywhere. Because the prophecy of Isaiah has not been fulfilled. The prophecy of Jeremiah has not been fulfilled. The prophecy of my pastor has not been fulfilled. Somebody say yes. Nina kubariki katika jina la Yesu Christo. As a son of this ministry, as a daughter of this ministry, I bless you now in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall build that house. I say you shall build the house in Jesus name you shall buy the property in Jesus name you shall raise your children in Jesus name you shall drive the car in Jesus name you shall marry the wife I bless you you shall wed the husband you shall have the children I bless you from this altar we shall travel to other nations I bless you you shall start the business I bless you from this altar whatever was prophesied shall come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus no spirit of the devil can stop the prophetic word from coming to pass in the mighty name of Jesus one day they shall look at you they shall call you a Nazarite. One day they shall look at you. They shall call you 
the favor of the Lord. One day we shall look at you, we shall call you the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, every battle that you're fighting now is a battle against the word of God that is over your life. But Herod shall fail, the haters shall fail, the witches shall fail, the jealousy shall fail. In the name of Jesus. One day, they looked at Jesus. They called him by the name the Bible said he shall be called. They said his name, he shall be called a Nazarite. Itatimia siku moja. Utangaliwa hivi. Watakuita na jina ya Bible. Alie barikewa. Mpa kwa mafuta wabwana. Yeye ambaye anatembea na neema. Those shall be your names. Yule ambaye amepata kibali. Mbele ya macho ya bwana. Those shall be your names. Hallelujah. Shem is living your life. I said Shem is living your life. Glory be to God. I said glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I was telling the Lord, I cannot die with a strange name. I cannot die with a strange name. I pray for somebody that you shall not die with a strange name. You must be called a Nazarite. You must be called what the Bible said. You shall be called. You shall not die with a strange name. And the devil is defeated. I said the devil is defeated. And is under your feet. As I've been teaching this word. There are certain things that the Lord has dropped in my spirit. And we're going to do that very very fast. We're going to give our offering. But this is what I want you to do. Make this personal. Turn to your neighbor and tell them this is personal. I don't know what it is about this service. Even you that is watching. I don't know what it is about this particular service. But this service is, may not be like next Sunday. It may not be like last Sunday. There is something. There are some things that God is establishing in the spirit. In this service. You must catch the flow of the spirit of God. In this service. Turn to your neighbor and tell them. You should not die with a strange name. Lazima utaitwa ile jina Bible ilisema utaitwa He shall be called a Nazarite That's why Herod could not kill him That's why witch doctors will not kill you Witches will not kill you hey, Why are you so quiet here I said hey, Jealousy will not kill you Rumors will not kill you. Gossip will not kill you. Envy shall not kill you. I refuse to die with a strange name. Somebody say. Oh! As we give, it's not just giving. I want you to think yourself. I want you to think yourself. And I want you to get an offering between you and God. Between you and God. Forget what your neighbor is about to give. Forget that. Don't give what you thought you were coming to give in this Sunday. Don't do that. And forget what your neighbor is giving. Leave that person. The battle of your destiny is not your neighbor's battle. But this is the prayer that I'm going to pray for you today. And I want you to give an offering unto the Lord, connecting with this word. And this is a prayer the Lord put in my heart to pray for you. That you shall never die with a strange name. That no matter what it takes, 
you shall not die with a strange name. As you give, get an offering. Get a sacrifice in your hands. Don't just say, I'm just going to give anything. No, even you that is watching. Get a sacrifice. Give an offering. You may not have given since the year began. Give an offering. And say, Lord, there are many battles. But I refuse. As you come to the altar, this is the declaration. I will not die with a strange name. I refuse to die. With a strange name, I shall be called. Whatever was prophesied, that shall be my name. The business people that are here, this is a time to say, God, you're making me one of those 10 millionaires pastor has always been talking about. I will not die with a strange name. I will not die in shame. I will not die failure. I will not die as a tenant. I'm going to give and trust God. I will not die barren. I will not die in shame. I refuse to die with a strange name. He shall be called a Nazarite. Listen to me. This is how we are going to do it. You that is following live, there is information on the screen. Go ahead and send in your tithe, send in your offering. And we shall see you this coming week in Jesus' precious name. You are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. Somebody said hallelujah. If you have your tithe, this is how what you are going to do. If you have your tithe, please rise up on your feet. Only people with their tithe rise up on your feet. There is a prayer. Moses, please take hold of